So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the one of the basic skills you need for a Google web app. So it's not an ordinary web app, it's a web app with the power of Google databases and all their other stuff like Gmail, etc. behind it. Um, so it's a bit different in the way we program it as well. Here we go. So I will, in the video, I've got a link to uh, this page on my website, sixschool.com. Um, and we're going to go through this tutorial which explains how to read and write from a Google Sheet. Uh, so what do we do? Well, step one. Step one is go to your Google Drive where all the action happens. Aha, I should have... Uh, let's go back and uh, open a new tab so I can flick between them. Uh, open a new tab. Right, okay, step one, open my Google Drive, fine. Then create a new sheet by choosing new Google Sheets. Pretty easy, I'm sure you've already created a Google Sheet before. There we go. Uh, what's the next step? All right, save the sheet as Barbara. I'm not going to bother that. You don't, you know, you don't have to even particularly save it. It's probably nice to save it as something. I suppose I will save as Barbara. Let's do it. Barbara, there you go. Um, that was just a random silly instruction I added to the tutorial. Okay, in uh, Google Sheets, choose Tools Script Editor. Okay. So tools, script editor. This is a special script editor that allows you to put certain functions that you cannot put elsewhere. Like you got a special connection to the Google system uh, through the script editor. So you will be putting special functions that uh, you cannot put anywhere else. So that's the introduction to that. What's the next step in our um tutorial here so copy paste the following code so uh i'll just show you the code i suppose small piece of code and i'm just gonna copy that that actually doesn't even copy that it just highlights it all so highlighted uh control c i've just pressed control c on the keyboard and it's copied it and i'm going to what am i going to do copy paste this code in the editor replace the default code in the editor so here's our default code i'm going to do Control a to highlight it Control v to paste over it so you've only got the code that we have over here that's all, all right then what's the next instruction let's see mm -hmm. that's what it looks like okay something like that all right, and then it says, oh, do a control save, control S for save. Okay, you'll be asked what to call it. Call it Bob. Okay, let's do that then. All right, so control S and Bob. Now, actually, I'm just going to call it BB because that's what I typed by accident. Uh, the point of demonst what I'm trying to say is you can call it anything you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this, this little project is called BB. It's the script project that's attached to the Google Sheet called Barbara. Now in a script project you can have all, uh, as many files as you want. Here's one file, this is the name of the file in the same place. And the next step is what? You'd be asked to call it something, call it Bob. And now make a new HTML file, choose file, new HTML. Okay, so in here Go file, new, there aren't many types of files you can make um, in this project. If I made a new file here, it wouldn't be part of this. Anyway, so new HTML file, and this thing you really have to call it a, a particular name, and that's page. Why page? Just because this file is, this script is going to load the, the file called page.html. Um, right. If I called it something else, I could have called if I called it, I don't know, uh, dog. Okay, then I'd have to call this dog.html. I would load it. Okay, so page itself is not a special name, but in this case, since you'll be copying and pasting my code, uh, you'll have to call your file page.html unless you want to change the name. Right, where are we now? So we've got this. Oh, we haven't. Um, did I copy and highlight the code? No, I didn't. Okay, so I have to scroll down, highlight, oh, where is it? There's a copy button, 
it just highlights all the code and I'll do a control C to actually copy it and back here control A to highlight all the code control V to paste over it control S to save it what's next on the list of things to do um, right 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 there we go so it looks like that now we're going to publish it so publish deploy as web app that's what we're trying to do here make a web app so publish deploy as web app uh, not much to say oh there is something to say there's these two things to fill in I could uh, give some description but you never have to fill that in um, right what was I gonna do yeah so uh, what do, what do the instructions say? Execute the app as user accessing the web. So basically, um, you can access Google Apps in two different ways. As the programmer person, so like if I wanted my personal database, my personal sheets to be accessed by strangers, I would say, what would I say? I would say uh, this one. Is because I'm Khalid Safir, right? But if I wanted people to access their own stuff, their own sheets or something, um, then this is what they would choose. Okay, and uh, I don't want it so only I can access my web app. That's a bit rubbish. It'd be everyone can use it. Okay, um, that's probably just for testing purposes, of course, something like that. So anyone can use this web app. Let's deploy. All right, so the web app working let's triple click that that's how I like to cop highlight everything control C okay open up a new tab control V this is a special website address URL um, for this Google app um, now I'm going to review permissions okay and it's going to say uh, you know who's gonna use this I mean which account am I using it from I'm using it from my own account now uh, Google started this new thing where they're trying to be extra safe I suppose or something it's not being verified it, this app has been, hasn't been verified by Google yet so maybe they'll get around it or something I don't know um, back to safety no thank you I actually want to use this so I'm gonna go to advanced uh, and then there'll be more options mm, Google hasn't reviewed this uh, go to BB so I call this uh, project BB right so yes I'll go to BB and it's unsafe is it whatever all right okay type continue all right I'll do that continue all right next and it's asking me okay so what's this app gonna do It's gonna view and manage your spreadsheets in Google Drive yeah that's fine no problem all right okay so there's this is the HTML that was the other way. There's the HTML. This is the yeah. This is the HTML. All right. We're going to talk about this HTML in a second. Oh, I think one is more colourful. All right. And um, not actually complicated HTML. So that's the real HTML. The other bits is a tiny bit of programming. Over here, a few basic scripts one extra piece of script just to make it a bit more funky we'll talk about that in a minute maybe and uh, a bit of styling just to make it look nice as well so very little code really okay um what else is there to say okay let's test out this code so um the way i do it is i just write some random stuff Khalid, my name basically i could press send and it goes to the database which is basically here and oh it's over there right and then when I go here and type something else all right mummy and I'll press enter this time to, because uh, I put some extra code just in case somebody feels like just pressing enter rather than pressing the send button and uh, it puts mummy there and uh, there you go mummy there uh, okay what else is there to say about this code so that's how the code works and practice what's the code doing to make this happen so let's go here all right okay oh yeah there's kind of like a warning I suppose the general how to use these things so if I make a change oh, let's think of a change I don't know what change should be vertical line top or something I don't know top let's go for that okay if I if I want to make a change um, I have to publish it again 
And not only do I have to publish it again, don't save it as that. You have to save it as a new version. I don't know why, but anyway, you're supposed to do that. So, um, let's see if it allows me to scroll down, this weird thing. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then you have to update it. Say okay. And then I have to refresh this. So it should still access the same old database there. Anyway, uh, and then, um, what, what did I do? I did, uh, I made this button vertical line top, which made no difference. Interesting. Okay, uh, there we go. Let's put another one of my brother's names. Uh, hey. Uh, whatever. Okay, so that works basically, and you can see it's still working, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's go through the code a little bit. Um, let's go through the HTML code since it's already opened. Uh, so you've got the head, you've got a bit of styling going on, the text area. Uh, I don't want it to be resized. I don't even know what that means, just copied it from Stack Overflow. Um, no, what does that mean? It means something. I don't, it's not even about that. Anyway, so let's go. Who cares about this? The main stuff that we want to know is what? Um, that you access. Okay, so you've got these um, couple of bits in the web page. There's a text area, which is got which is called data, and on key press, um, it does this so basically I want to do so if you press enter um, it will do something it will be effectively like pressing uh, the button okay so there's a there's a text area to the button and there's a div called message where basically we'll put data we'll stick some data into it okay so what are the key bits you need to know about so the function send does this. You get access to data, which is just the text area. And the main thing you've got to know about is that this this function here, google.script.run, blah, blah, blah. There's two parts to it. Okay, so you've got google.script.run. You could have, um, you could remove this with success handler, blah, 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 and just have this function instead right and that would just send data to the database but if you want it to come back with something after it's been successful right um, then you stick on this method before it okay so um, what's happening is that you, this is this is the method that returns on the way back so there's send to spreadsheet uh, data whatever is here sent to spreadsheet and this get from spreadsheet method is here and you'll see it's got a an argument yeah an input uh, even though you don't seem to have any input here no bracket here because that's just the way it's written yeah so you can have one one input here because obviously you can only send one in uh, one output from here. So this is what's called over here and so that's where we are here and it returns something, a list of people or whatever in you know the output is. And if you don't return something, you can still call this but just not have any um, argument there to deal with the return data. So you could leave it blank if you like, but empty brackets. Um, yeah, so once you do that, it takes this data wherever it was sent back from basically our database, our Google Sheet, and sticks it in the div, the message div. Okay, sticks it into the inner HTML, whatever. Um, what else is there to talk about over here? Mm, script run blah 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 that's kind of not important you can figure that out yourself uh, let's check out anything interesting here um, right so this get active sheet takes the sheet that um, in this case 
it's not always the case that you uh, okay so the way I created the script was from the the Google sheet now if you don't if you make what we call a standalone script which is not attached to any one particular sheet then this get active sheet will only won't work the same way like it is in this simple example so get active sheet in this in this case will open up the sheet that it's attached to okay you could actually open you could say get active spreadsheet which open up the whole spreadsheet but i just want to get like i want to get straight to the sheet so i'm going to open up the main sheet that's already open or something so i'm going to insert a row and then in row one column one i'm going to set the value data which is the the data i got from here so you know i uh what did i do uh, i got data from the data text box whatever it was and um, stuck it in here and it sent it to there and I stuck it in there then I made a list of all the stuff that's uh, well the first 10 things um, that are here you know and sending it back blah blah I think that's enough um, thank you for listening